I've seen many uh, interesting and smart and funny and beautiful people during this seminar. I would start by saying that in uh, recent years, countries uh, to some um, um, optimistic initial um, credentials, a new authoritarian wave has gathered momentum in East Central Europe, in parts of the Western Europe and even in North America with the election of, a, of a Donald Trump. Uh, Michael Ignatiev, the director of the Central European University, an institution so heavily and viciously attacked by Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, um, was right, I think, uh, to wander himself as early as uh, 2014 in the pages of the New York Review books uh, whether the authoritarians are winning or not. Since then, apart from some uh, clear-cut cases such as Russia and Hungary, with less visible success in uh, Romania, Poland has joined the club or the, the group of uh, crackpot political uh, experiments. So Europe is now uh, facing uh, the rise of uh, a populist uh, authoritarianism which is rooted in an ethnocentric um, vision of politics, the exaltation of organic communities and exclusionary uh, practices. Political scientists, myself included, uh, have studied quite, uh, quite uh, consistently and, um, and thoroughly the dynamics of democratization, but now I think it is high time to look into the dynamics of de-democratization, what Georgetown professor Mark Howard defines as uh, authoritarian backsliding. So first tested in, in uh, Vladimir Putin's Russia, then experimented in Viktor Orban's uh, uh, Hungary. Uh, it is happening now in Poland and in, basically in all uh, other uh, Visegrad uh, uh, countries. Uh, Dutch uh, cultural historian Rob Riemann writes about the um, eternal, the eternal return of fascism. This is not the fascism of the 1930s, to be sure, but an updated version combining residual Leninism with racism, uh, clericalism, if needed, uh, panic mongering, and uh, let's say the cult of the ancestors. What I, what I uh, proposed uh, within this seminar and in relation to uh, human rights and minority rights in East Central Europe was an Arendtian approach, an Arendtian defense of the juridical persona, of the moral persona, and of what um, uh, Arendt's uh, close friend Hans Jonas has, uh, has called uh, the, the principle of responsibility. So in the light of um, uh, the refugee crisis that divided Europe and still does, um, I believe it is urgent and important to reread the basic works of the great uh, 20th uh, century thinker of German origin, Hannah Arendt. She has shown to us how social death, so when a person loses uh, his or her um, um, belonging to a political community, uh, can go to the extreme end of it, to physical liquidation. So when Arendt uses, um, if you want, uh, when Arendt uses uh, this uh, uh, contradictory, uh, apparently contradictory formula of, of the right of the rightless, she basically invites everyone, including the rightless, the stateless, and any other category, to um, to understand and to think politically this condition and to draw the main lessons and consequences for the future of the society. Um, the category of totalitarianism nowadays gains in strength and I think it is, uh, it is telltale in a way and, um, of the threat that we feel it's weighing on the shoulders of the, of the, of the world, if you want. And um, of course, things are different than they were in, back in, uh, in the 1930s and uh, although uh, what was unprecedented at the time of Hannah Arendt is now known, um, these forms of fascism of, or uh, totalitarian language cannot be replicated in the same way. But in this respect, I think there are two main um, uh, pitfalls that need to be avoided. A, uh, to believe that we already live in a totalitarian situation and B, to believe that uh, our situation has nothing to do with past totalitarianism. So basically what I was trying to convey during this seminar was the fact that we need to place the current political events and the current and troubling uh, political phenomena in a more um, 
rigorous historical context because at the end of the day history provides us with the opportunity to expand the horizon of, of what we know and eventually of what we think we know.